Welcome back to Potionomics. We're picking up exactly where we left off. And let's go into the next day. Eight days before the competition. I gotta take this one day at a time. An actual potion shop. I could have sworn it was all poured up just the other day, and now potions. Pardon the mess. I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed. You must know what you're doing. That's really kind of you. <laughs> new to town, new to running the shop, and it's sort of figuring it out as I go. I'm new here too. My name is Mint. I just got to town a few days ago. I live here. I serious, it's so seriously good to meet you, Sylvia. So, Mint and Sylvia, now that I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable, does Foster the Formidable ever shop here? Defenestrator, jeez. Uh, we're gonna keep it positive. Not sure I'd recognize him. You don't have posters in your bedroom when you were little? I guess it was just me. I made a bit of a fangirl, to be honest. I've been geeking out pretty much nonstop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild. When they defeated the Witch King. Sorry, I got a while in the brain. Maven, the Witch. Of course, the fallout from the battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now. And that includes our local chapter of the guild. Let's be complimentary. You've got the muscles to be a hero. Ever think about joining? Oh, thanks. I do work out. As a matter of fact, joining exactly why I came to Rafa. Answer the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. But I'm only a provis provisional member. They've got me running jobs for EXP. So I think she said XP. That's slang for experience. I'll be ready for proper adventuring outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there teeming with mystery and danger. And potion ingredients, of course. Sing by the hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Thanks for the tip. No sweat. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. That's going to work in your favor. Ev evoke sympathy in your customers and they'll be, more, blah, they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. Oh, okay. Blocks a set amount of stress equal to the current value. Shield is removed when brought to zero. Removed at the start of Sylvia's turn. Customer debuff increases all interest gain by 25%. Ooh. So this shield is better than the base shield for sure. I'll definitely keep that in mind. But I have a feeling you're gonna do great. If you excuse me, I gotta go do some fetch quests. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how often people misplace family heirlooms. Okay. Day one. I guess we were on day zero. Flesh ingredients cost more. Fruit ingredients cost less. Plant ingredients cost less. Gym ingredients cost less. Ore ingredients cost legs. Bug ingredients cost less. Out of ingredients, can't make any more potions. Check out Quinn's shop. Or there's always the Heroes Guild. Uh, do we have any potions? No. Are we brewing anything right now? Ah. Hey, level three. Mana potion. As you decide what potions you're going to make, reference your recipe book. Throwing things into a cauldron and see what comes out is all well and good, but planning things out can give you an edge when reacting to the market. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. 
So we've got potions, tonics, enhancers, and cures. Minor poison cure. Okay, all right, all right. Return. I've got money. I think we should travel. Normally I'd want to cook something, but I don't have any ingredients. Let's go to Quinn. First. I think it adventurers, it might make sense to bring her some health potions. What's up? Um, let's start off with, uh, my stress is zero, though. Let's start off with a hangout session. Let's be good. Blind taste test. So we're going to work on our palate. Pulls out a blindfold, stack of ingredients. At this point... Sylvia uses this stuff in her craft. She should know her materials inside and out. Puts on the blindfold, waiting for what's in store. Some taste all right, others don't. Yeah, working on the palate like a chef would. Oh, we're ready to rank up already? That's going to take another slot. Let's see what's got in the shop here. Oh, these are cheaper today. So this is six green, six red, six yellow. These are cheap, so we're definitely maxing these. I think we'll just buy it. Let's buy it all. And let's see if we can take a day to rank up. Ending a sale with a closer will add five dollar or five percent to the sale price. Unusual location for a business, isn't it? Floating in the trees. I do like the view. I think she wants to be lonely. I do like the view. You can see the whole town. Yeah. You can spot trouble coming a mile away. In this business, you've got to use any advantage you've got. Whether that's the high ground or a low blow. Got the upper hand. That's when you press the attack. Press the attack. Those look like tacks. So it's a pun. No, it's not. It's just chess pieces. Okay. Raise interest by five and draw a card. So that's definitely better than the think. I'm willing to make the most of an advantage. As soon as I get an advantage, I mean. Just now, I could use an advantage in the marketplace. You might fit the bill. Come on, follow me. End your day early to end stress. All right. Here's the deal. There's a total of four chocolatiers in this town. Each one of them gives out one free sample per customer per day. Uh-huh. What are you waiting for? Go get them. Bring them here. Sylvia plunges into the throng. The chocolatiers aren't hard to find. In a matter of minutes, she has four small chocolate treats. Yoink. Wait a minute. What gives? You can't be that lazy. First of all, I wouldn't underestimate my laziness if I were you. But more to the point, I've got a lifetime ban from all those stalls. All four of them. Well, in that case, I'm glad I could help you out, I guess. Hey, don't be sore. I'll share if you want. But they use some unusual ingredients in these things. You never know what's inside until you take a bite. Unusual ingredients? As in monster birds? Among other things... 
Um, tell me more. Why use such strange ingredients? That's what we have access to. Oh, okay. Got it. She likes monster part ingredients. You gotta understand, this island was off limits for years. And all that time, the land was stewing in sweet, sweet magical juices. So pretty much anything you find here is gonna have some magic on it. I guess we have that dead witch to thank for that, Maven. She per performed some pretty out there experiments before the Heroes Guild took her out. It's almost sounds like you admire her. Wasn't she evil? Better evil than boring. Maybe she could have taught me some things. Maybe I could have taught her some things. Anyway, the land Maven left behind is a weird place full of weird stuff. And I like weird. Weird is rare. The hard part is getting our hands on the best stuff. We need local heroes to, you know, get good. They rely on potions when they're out foraging. So if you level up your craft, they'll get better. And you and I will both benefit. I'm going to go with, we're in this together. Yeah, sure. Super sweet. As long as you don't turn out to be dead weight. Now, I got to get back. Boxer gets antsy if I leave him along too long. Alone too long. I get the impression you've got your work cut out for you. Okay, I think we are done here. Let's get back to the house. <laughs> Smell you later. I do want to get brewing soon. Yes. So that's what I want to do. I want to brew, then travel, then come back, and then have everything ready to go. Take an early rest if you need it. Otherwise, you might get too stressed to function. Okay. That's the end of the day marker. Let's deal with our deck builder first. Press the attack. What was this replacing? I think we can drop the think cards all together. And we've got the sympathy play here. Increase all interest gained by 25%. Guilt them. And then we're going to drop the brace. Think all together. It's going to be a little less shieldy and a little more aggressive. Ooh, let's get another scheme in there. Yeah. We've got the aggressive deck. Okay, brew time. All right, so we already have two mana potions. Let's make... Ah, so we finally have this done. A three-star common tier potion. Got it. Fire tonic. But let's start off with the basics first. Health potion. Okay, that's gonna be right here. Red and green. Oh, that's just gonna be a minor. We can't put any more ingredients in this thing. All 
I could keep one of these. Or I could roll the dice and try to make another set of these, but I would need some amazing ingredients to make that happen. One to travel. And I think I'm on three to brew. Two to brew. I wonder if I can... Let's see if we can get this first... This first quest done with an amazing mana potion. Glad you decided to drop in on me. What do you think of the guild hall? Is it an amazing... A lot more taxidermy than I expected. Heroes love their trophies. And maybe I'll be contributing soon. I've been approved for adventuring. The training wheels are coming off. You should send me out sometime. I promise to bring back great loot for you. How does this work exactly? I just had my orientation. I took the detailed notes. Sounds complicated. Nah, I'm just a nerd. Start by choosing the area you want me to explore. The further I get into the area, the more loot I'll bring back. Providing me with more with potions is totally optional, but the right potion can help me go further might help me bring back better spoils. Every potion has its uses, but health potions and mana potions are by far the most important. Health helps me withstand damage and mana powers my attacks. However, there's a limit to how many potions I can drink at a time. All that magic can really mess with a person's stomach. And there's a fee every time you send me out set by the guild. All right. I know you'll do amazing. I hope so. That's what the training was for. They also gave us a goodie bag of health and mana potions for new recruits. Let's use them on my first adventure. Oh, well, shoot. That makes that a lot easier. Health potions patch me up and mana potions get me to the finish line. And hey, thanks for the support, Sylvia. It means a lot. Well, yeah, let's do the adventure thing. Well, hold on. Gifts are strictly ingredients. Try to find out what they might prefer. Right, okay. Everybody likes a magical fruit, right? That's seem there's no such thing as a bad present. That's a neutral response. Let's hang out for a bit. Okay. I love this guild hall to pieces, but to be real, it's a death trap waiting to happen. Want to make the rounds with me? I could use an extra set of eyes. She's got some steely eye determination. A rough sheet of sandpaper. <laughs> Moves the fragile vases to higher shelves. She padlocks draw drawers full of cut cutlery. Excuse me. I would say you're baby-proofing the hall. What's going on? Only since I'm expecting my colleagues to overindulge and start bumping into things. It happens every night. And bruised shins are no fun on long heights or dungeon elves. Let's see. Do we want to say it's she's being kind or smart? I'm going to give her smart. Smart to keep your eyes in fighting shape for tomorrow's challenges. I guess it is, but honestly, just like when every Romy is happy and safe. Okay, so she would have probably liked the safe call better. We're both living our dreams. Try to get a little empathy going. 
I mean, I'm bunking with people I recognize from trading cards. I'm eating at the same table as people I've written, <laughs> I've written fan fiction about. They say you should never meet your heroes, and you should never tweet your heroes. That's my original line. Oh, meeting your heroes is awesome, but sharing a bathroom with them is super weird. So you weren't exaggerating before. You're really a fangirl. Yeah, ever since I was little. I grew up in a quiet port town. It was nice. You say nice like it's a bad thing. No, really. I had a great childhood. I was safe and happy. I have eight siblings. Yikes. Who are all awesome in different ways. And my dads are both book lovers, so we got bedtime stories every night. And we're fairy tales about bull princesses and fables about wily animals, but my favorites were the stories about real life heroes. I like those the best. I drift off to sleep imagining what I would be like, what it would be like to be one of them. And here you are. With a chance to be a hero on the level of those I used to dream about, I only hope I can live up to their example. I have a feeling you'll do great. No kidding. Well, I'm sure learning a lot. I've been doing some sparring my own, the verbal kind. Here's a point I've learned the hard way. Keep your guard up when you go on the offensive. It'll probably sound... Wait, that probably sounds like advice whether you're wielding wooden swords or savvy words. Keep your guard up. Blocks a certain amount of stress equal to the current value stress. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Mint is a tank. Removed at the start of Silvio's term. Raise interest by eight. Gain three shields. Okay, yeah, that's better. I feel more formidable already. Good, show them no mercy. You've got what it takes to handle a grumpy customers. Okay, so I would say Mint is definitely our tank. The other one I think is our damage dealer. So we need a healer. If we're gonna get the Holy Trinity completed. All right, let's do an adventure. The Enchanted Forest. How about two health potions and one super good mana potion? Yep, that's what we're going to do. And she's going to level up. Be gone. Quinn. Quinn's our damage dealer. If I go here, this more opportunity to buy ingredients. Let's try it. Still not a new day. All right, time to head home. And now we should have plenty of potions to bottle. Brew. bottle we need more powerful ingredients to get to the level required by the show three four, three, or one, one. We should probably keep with ratios. Oh, I didn't pick anything. Let's go with a tonic. 
Minor Fire Tonic, red and yellow. Okay. Why are you trying to tell me to travel? Oh, she's back already? Uh, I think we should sell some stuff. I'm going to keep this one. Miner or a health potion. Yeah, let's get rid of that and that and that. Oh. We don't have enough time segments in the day. Well, if that's the case, let's go over here and see how Mint did. If you knock down a boss monster... Ooh! We did good. River Pixie Shell. Red and green. Some wood, some green, red, and some yellow, but only four yellow. But maybe that's how you get the more interesting ratios. Okay. Should I send her out again? The Enchanted Forge was no sweat. I actually enjoyed being out there. I knew you could handle it. I'm excited to see... Use those ingredients you brought back. I found some other goodies, too. I set them aside for you. These are glamours. They'll change the look of your shop. Purely cosmetic, but don't expect any benefits. But pretty cool, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. Nice to upgrade that shop a little bit. Hey, thanks. I can see how it'd be nice to switch things up every now and again. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said. No problem. I'll keep out for more. Apparently some critters got into the shipment and now they're spread all over the island. Ha. I can return to the forest any time, but I'm also up for more of a challenge. The mushroom mire and the bone waste are available to me now. They're a little more dangerous, but that means better rewards. You should introduce yourself to our guild master, Baptiste. He sends out daily expeditions. And if you invest in one, you'll get a share of what comes back. I'll be sure to introduce myself and keep you in mind for further adventures too. Sounds good. I'm ready when you are. Oh boy. I don't know. If, well, see, I put a bunch of stuff in my shop, so I might not have what she needs here. Uh-oh. There's a poison situation, and these are some big numbers. We'll run a test just to see how it, how it will go. Need something, so we need a slot for poison on that side. My guess on this side, we need a slot for fire resistance. Yeah, seven health. Okay, all right. Can we uh, squeeze by this one more time? We'll go ahead and send you out on that. Get you leveled up. And then we'll go... Hopefully this won't take any time since we're still at that building. Go visit Baptiste. Wow, this place is bigger than I realized. Oh, look at this guy being sneaky. 
Greetings, fair patron. Greetings and welcome to the Heroes Guild. Guildmaster and Barkeep. I'm new to town. I make potions, and you'll certainly benefit from our services. Hiring a hero is a surefire way to get your hands on new ingredients. You can work directly with any hero you're acquainted with or come to me. I always have a list of upcoming expeditions. Invest in one, and I'll return. And in return, you'll receive a portion of whatever loot is brought back. Wow, sounds like the guild has a lot to offer. We aim to please. So if there's anything we can do to be of service, just let me know. How about sharing some pointers? Do you have any advice for a fellow merchant? Well, I don't know if I'm a merchant. I'm more of a facilitator, the master administrator, if you will. I keep everything running smoothly here. While our town's great heroes seek glory, adventure, and resources. Sounds like you're bragging about being a bureaucrat. That's exactly what it is. Oh, that's what, exactly what he's doing. We don't call ourselves heroes. But if making order out of chaos isn't heroic, I don't know what is. That's an interesting point of view. And in striking up a conversation about it, I'm demonstrating that piece of advice you asked for. <laughs> if you're going, if you've got something to sell, then best captivate your audience forthwith. This card has ability which will activate if played first from your hand. You activate the opener. I see. Increase patience by one. Ooh, yeah. So this guy's our healer. If opener, if the opener increase patience by two. I think I can manage that. It's advice I've recently taken to heart. I already arrived here a few months ago, intent on guiding this guild to greatness. The heroes have greeted me with open arms, although some of their traditions are rather mystifying. Say, you look like a commoner. Hey, maybe you should share some insights. You must be a noble then. I'm trying to downplay all that, you know? To help me fit in. But that brings me to my question. Tell me, this charming little tradition of leaving gifts in one's shoes. Gifts? Yes, you know, like shaving cream and rotten fruit and a scorpion. Really, it's been going on for months. I mean, I'm flattered, but it's starting to feel like overkill. Oh, let's just tell them the truth. There's no tradition like that. Oh, really? Well, the joke's on them because I've taunted, I've been taunted by the best and I will take more than a, blah, it'll take more than a bit of tomfoolery to get my goat. At any rate, I shouldn't be too surprised. I knew coming here that there would be a period of adjustment. Finding yourself suddenly in a new land and a new role can be challenging, can't it? Let's not flirt right away. We'll get the hang of it. I mean, everyone in this town is a transplant. Indeed. In that case, you and I fit in quite well. At any rate, it's been a pleasure making your acquaintance, Sylvia. I hope you decide to invest. Okay. So let's see. Let's invest in a a deal here. I thought we already picked up a shell. Hmm. So, it would be nice to know what my inventory is. Eighteen blue. Ooh, I like this. Four green. All right, so what we're going to do... We're going to take two of each of these. No, we're going to take one of each. That'll make more sense in a bit. I make sure to leave immediately. 
I have no idea what kind of stuff this guy likes. It's gonna probably be higher end stuff though, right? This takes me to the map? Yeah. I can go directly to my potion shop from there. All right. Actually, I think ending on each day is the way to go. So we need to have... We have one of the mana potions that we need, though we might have already used it. So we should probably presume that we have to have to cook up all three of those at the right level and star level. But right now, we've... We executed a great trip with our tank, Mint, Quinn... Chatted with her a little bit, and really we introduced ourselves to the Baptiste to invest in new ingredients. So we're gonna call it right there. Thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it. We'll see you next time.